Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Let's Play Mega Man Maverick Hunter X. In the last episode, we became a fully realized Mega Man X, save for our buster. And we also defeated every last Maverick that was in our way. Now that we have shown them that our way of life is superior, let's take on Boss Spider and Sigma Palace 1. Yes, I am. Ah. I have such terrible memories of this stage. Oh, I do. From the Super Nintendo one, anyway. Which is actually quite recent. Which is the reason why I want to play this. Hey, look alive! Lives end at 9, so that just went to nothing. Wait, what? Going underwater? This was not in the original Super Nintendo version. Yes, because this is a different game. However, this guy is still weak as nuts to Storm Tornado. No. No. Oh. Oh. Ah, uh, no! Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me, fishy fish. Die, fishy fish. Not a series of accurate jumps on small platforms. No, the flashbacks. The flashbacks. Let's get out of here before I you know, hurt myself. What? 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 Strange octopus. Guess this. Bastard stars. Launch octopus. I am launch octopus. I am under orders to deal with any intruders. Sigma must have brought his body back to life. I have been ordered to fight. Here we go. Here it comes. All right, so this is just a soulless machine then. More soulless than normal, anyway. I may have gotten a little practice at that. I think these are actually easier. When he's doing the tornado, he's invincible. No matter how hard you try, he's invincible. That reminds me of a storm tornado, fully charged. My explosion is beautiful. Is it now? That's fun. Please tell me more. Oh wait, you can't, cause you're dead. I killed you to death. And now we go up. As high as we can. But not that high. Cause... You die. You die today, sir. You also die. If you had your fully realized buster, you could just cheese this area out quick. By using... Okay, fuck this guy. Eat my shotgun. Okay. You can cheese this area out quick by using a charged up sting chameleon's weapon. Uh, the chameleon sting, that's right. You Joes are just getting on my nerves. So please die, and die quickly. Thank you. Storm tornado. Are these, are these metal webs? I thought it was, you know, slick as shit when I decided to uh, go through here and use Sting Chameleon's charged weapon. But now going through here without it, again, it hurts. It hurts a lot. This is hard. Well, it's not hard, it's just tank heavy. You gotta tank some hits. It's too high for shotgun eyes. If all else fails, Homing torpedo! Homing torpedo! Homing torpedo! 
Homing torpedo. Homing torpedo. Homing torpedo. Die. Die. I have a gift for you from the president to die. Who are we fighting now? Kawanger? It's Kawanger. Let's get this party started. I think I know a weapon you're weak to. Oh, I was right. I've never taken this guy on with his actual weakness because I never knew it. Oh, come on, the dash jumps are not with me. Oh, come on! There we go. So strong. After yelling homing torpedo at him several times, he finally dies. Onward to adventure, I guess. Do they dream of electric sheep? No, because they have no sleep program. Doggy don't. His boyfriend is returned. This is fun. I like having my recording sessions interrupted by small things like that. It does wonders for the nerves. The fuck is that? No taunts, no nothing. Just gonna crawl away menacingly. Boss Spider is one of these kind of puzzles. Where he has a preset path that you can read. And plan accordingly. And if you read it fast enough... You can get one over on old bossy here. Like if I stand here, I'm perfectly safe. Oh, come on. Boss Spider has a rather annoying frame of damage. It's pretty strict, and I don't like it. This boss would be a lot harder if he had a shockwave when he hit the ground. I have to say, he does move a lot slower in the PSP version than he does in the Super Nintendo version. Because in the Super Nintendo version, he is fucking lightning. Anyway, he is no more. I took nine minutes? Nah, nah, that couldn't have taken nine minutes. There's no way. There, there must be time dilation around here somewhere. Anyway, on to Sigma 2 to fight Rangda Bangda. I'm sorry for the snubbles, I am fighting cold. Where is the cold fighting me? Oh, this one. I had laments about this one. Because Sigma 2 was the reason why I couldn't beat this game without the Charge Buster. 
for the longest time. And it's because of that fucker. Well, not that fucker specifically, but one of those fuckers. It's a fucker that falls from the ground. Just right to face. In with your own face. He's right up there. And to get by him, you have to get hit there. You have to. There's no other option. Once you get past him, though, he's, it's easy. The thing is, you could normally, if the PSP ran up to spec, just run through with Fire Wave and be perfectly safe. But since the PSP has lags whenever your X and something else is on screen, it just makes life hard for everything. So you're gonna get hit by it by trying to just run through with Fire Wave. You can't even Storm Tornado your way out of this. Because Storm Tornado causes more lag than anything. You're strong. I am strong, thank you. That's not what I want, that's not what I want at all. I don't want that. Eclectic Spark! Oh no! I did it. I killed him with his own face. <sighs> Why does Sigma have guns facing? Oh, nuts! It's this. The knockback, yo! The knockback. However. I now have my weapons. Bombing torpedo! Bombing torpedo! Bombing torpedo! Bombing torpedo! Bombing torpedo! Bombing torpedo! I am willing to spam homing torpedo for the duration of the level. Bombing torpedo! Bombing torpedo! Bombing torpedo! Bombing torpedo! Bombing torpedo! Bombing torpedo! Na 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 I have no frame of reference for my movement other than the other platform! God, no, why? Time for Boomerang Cutter. Why? Because it has infinite ammo as long as it comes back to you. Well, maybe not infinite, but it has a lot. Oh no! That's not fair! It's not fair! At least it was easier than the one in X1. Oh. So it begins. Does it now? On behalf of Maverick Hunters any everywhere, die. What is your weakness? Galenian sting. sting, maybe? Ooh, ooh, that, that, that does seem to do an immense amount of damage. Who knew? I didn't. Mega Man 1 have the exact same uh, 
gimmick, kind of, when it comes to the boss rush. As in, there isn't one. They're just built into the stage, and you've got to be able to survive it as a normal hazard. I believe that was the second boss, right? Oh, yes, because everyone loves this section. You can spark Mandrel stage. Hey, speaking of Mr. Mandrill. Oh wait, I said I wouldn't do it for this fight. Let's get started. Since I said I wouldn't, I won't. See, he's easy enough. Oh, he's not using his eclectic spark as I think, as I thought he would. He just keeps jumping up, going around at the speed of sound. Oh, he punched me. I didn't know he did that. I, I never stayed close to him long enough. Oh, there it is. Eclectic spark. And you're done. You're done, you rings, son. You're done, you rings. Dash, dash, dash. Dash, 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 dash. When all spells, Storm Tornado. Storm Tornado! Goodbye, sir. Hello, sirs. Goodbye, sirs. I'm gonna die. Hello, goodbye. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm going to die. Crud nuggets. I forget what his weakness is! I think it might be Electric Spark. Is it? Maybe. Maybe it might be Chameleon Sting. I don't know, I don't know if it hit. Oh, it is! It is Chameleon Sting! Come here and get wrecked, son! Chameleon Sting! Chameleon Sting! Chameleon Sting! Chameleon Sting! Chameleon Sting! Get wrecked, eyeball. Chameleon Sting! Chameleon Sting! Oh no, am I getting wreckedness? However, when you die in this game, your weapon energy completely refills. I know hardcore Mega Man enthusiasts are gonna be like, oh, that's cheap as shit, bonerific and such. But I can honestly say it's not that thing. If you're looking for difficulty, why are you playing Maverick Hunter X in the first place? Play the first Mega Man. The game's hard as nuts. Oh, by the way, yes, those spikes are insta-kill. In case you were wondering. Yes, they would do that. What, you think they wouldn't? Oh, goodness. Oh, wait. I'm out of chameleon stink. Oh, thank 
you invincibility frames. You've saved me once again. You have one hit left. Just die. 20 minutes! Wow! Zoink, school! Anyway, next time on Let's Play Mega Man Maverick Hunter X, let's finish this. But until then, please enjoy seeing that picture of D-Rex.